Hi everybody. So what we're doing today is going to pour through this strainer. It's a hair strainer that for the shower. And it's on an oval canvas, 11 by 14. We are going to use black. Fluorescent blue by the Artist Loft. Neon yellow by Artist Loft. Fluorescent pink by Liquitex Basics. And pearl white by Folk Art. I've decided to turn it upside down and see how it does pouring it through that way. And we start with the black and the fluorescent blue. And I decided to do the pearl after each color to help the colors from blending together too much. And then after the pearl, each time I'm adding black before I move on to the next color. And we're going to put some neon yellow. And then back to the pearl. some black after the pearl. It actually started showing a pretty cool design at this point. Then we can add some fluorescent pink. And that fluorescent pink is such a pretty color. It's and vibrant. more pearl and some more black and then I repeat the colors one more time after that and I'd like to take this moment to apologize for the noise in the background I started building a drying rack and a friend of mine is helping me finish it so that's what the banging in the background is <laughs> I really did like the design that I was seeing as I was pouring the colors down as well. So we're just going to do this a last round of colors. Just put paints up, get them out of my way. Because as you know, if you watched any of my other videos, I tend to make a mess. So to keep myself from spilling them before we start tilting, we're moving them out of the way. Pick this trainer up. 
Um, I am going to pull some of the paint in in the middle so it doesn't have just that big white blob. We're going to go ahead and give it a torch. Just pop the air bubbles. There is no silicone in any of these paints. And then we're going to just go ahead and start tilting it. And stretch out that pattern some and see what we get. And I do love the way the colors are stretching out and it's getting that weird funky design. Just pushing some of the color back up onto the canvas to see if we can get some more design going. I'm just working on composition and see where I want it all to go. I like the way it's going off on the sides and stretching out on the top, so I decided to do that in some of the other spots. believe this is where I decided to leave it. Just cleaning up the paint off the bottom of the canvas. I'm going to take my gloves off and then give it another torch. And at the end of the video, I will bring you in for a close-up. I want to thank you, everybody, for watching. Please hit that like button and leave a comment below. I appreciate each and every one of you and I hope you have a great day. Take care everybody. Up so you can see all the detail. Definitely got lots of color popping through. Turned out very funky, but I like it. And it dried perfectly. 